In this video, we shall have a look at two Excel features which might help you to audit your spreadsheets. Watch window and trace precedence. So first let's have a look at the spreadsheet in front of us. Here we have a data sheet with various rows, in fact quite a few rows. Date of sale, product sold, quantity, unit price. And at the very bottom of the worksheet, scroll down to the bottom, we have a formula. Now this is an array formula, and you can see it's an array formula because of the curly brackets we have in the formula. It's basically adding up for all the products, for all the dates, the quantity multiplied by the unit price. There's no problem with having a formula down in this cell, E104, but of course if I make a change at the top from a price of say £15 to £16, or for a quantity of 20 to 30, it's clearly going to change the answer at the bottom. I've got to keep scrolling down to find out what the new answer is. So how about using a feature called Watch Window? Here's how it works. If you go into Formula tab, you'll see on the ribbon we have an auditing gallery. And there's a button here called Watch Window. And I'm going to add a watch for the cell which contains the formula. Add Watch. The formula in question is of course in E, 104 and that's the cell I'm going to add to the watch. Click on add. I can now position my watch window wherever I want but quite near the top of the worksheet and now we can see the answer currently is 263656. If I change the quantity from 11 back to 10 the value changes. I again change the unit price from 55 to 60 and the unit price changes. So it's a really useful way of keeping a watch on a cell which is far away from where you are currently looking at the spreadsheet. And that's watch window. We'll close that down for the time being. We're now going to have a look at trace precedence, a very simple feature, but could be quite useful in auditing your worksheets. Scroll down to, again, a cell which contains a formula, in my case, E104. On the formula tab, again, we've got formula auditing gallery, and trace precedence. And this is quite straightforward. It simply takes you back to the precedence which make up the formula. And you can see here it's looking at the quantity and the unit price, but not just for row two, but indeed for all the rows. So it's quite a nice way of auditing back to the precedence which make up the formula. Although these precedents are on the same sheet, the data sheets, they could of course be on different sheets or indeed different workbooks, and the arrows would show accordingly. So there you have it, watch window and trace precedence. To simply remove the arrows, click on remove arrows and they go away.